which is making you feel overwhelmed and overthink the situations yeah it, it's something very cool hi hello and welcome how do you do is this is your name okay good oh no don't worry you're just in time thank you so much for signing up we were requiring from some subjects for this measuring test so today we are gonna do a three hour program where we are gonna be measuring your face and other features of your body in a very very precise way because we are trying to determine a few factors on the products that we are selling and subjects as yourself have very good facial measurements I would say you have the golden radio so you're gonna determine that in one moment and see if you are the correct candidate so you can go ahead and participate in the further testing okay very well so I'm gonna ask you not to move please if you indeed have the golden radio which is a measurement specific to the face means that you're gonna be the ideal candidate for our testing let's try not to move good with this you're gonna be moving forward with my colleagues that are going to be testing you in a more detailed manner and I was, uh, as I was saying it might take up to three hours to conclude the exams do you have enough time for that? okay, thank you now, I'm going to ask you to look to the side please In the numbers that we are getting okay so now let's try not to move for this measurement very good let's try like that one two three four five good a very good number so your compensation is going to be ready after the last testing that my colleague is going to tell you where to move forward and also after that we have a complimentary buffet for our subjects it has many options vegetarian vegan anything you like quite big is one of our proud and joy here in our facilities our kitchen staff is just amazing oh yeah it's complimentary you don't have to pay anything okay yeah because the testing is so takes so long you might feel tired and a bit hungry Yeah, because we don't have breaks between time. It's gonna be the three hours straight. 
Uh, it's gonna be for testing, I believe. Well, with me, five. But mine is not gonna be as long as my colleagues, so don't worry. Okay, if you can look up for me. There we go. Very good. Now before we proceed, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. In the past six months, did you have any facial enhancement? Plastic surgery, Botox, or anything of that sort? Okay. And before that, did you ever have plastic surgery on your nose, your face, your bone structure? So it's your natural self. Okay. That's good. We do require our subjects to have uh, untouched facial features. Yeah, because of our products. It goes to mostly people with natural features. In the past two weeks, have you ever had any face mask or any face lifting um, treatments at a spa that involves creams? Okay. That's another point in your favor. Just need to pass a couple of more tests and you will be free to pass into the next one. Yes, in between my colleagues you have a 10 minute break where you can Relieve yourself if you want, drink some water. There are some refreshments between rooms, so it's okay. It's mostly snacks, small snacks. That's why at the end we have this beautiful buffet. subject doesn't pass this one test up front, you still receive a compensation, but of course it's not as large if you you were finishing the three hours. And the buffet, of course. <laughs> okay. This might tickle a little bit because I'm placing it right here in your neck. Okay, let's try to stay still. Good. Four, good. Twenty-five. Okay, that's a little bit off. I'm gonna measure it again. is quite unique, very beautiful. Now, can you look to this side, please? Thank you. 
taking annotations about your special facial features like nose, sheen, cheekbones. Okay. Not look down for me. Okay, let's try not to move here, like that, okay, very good. Okay, it does fit into our golden radio average numbers. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a quick sketch that is gonna be sent to my colleagues, okay? No I am quite fast with this. I just need you to look straight forward to me. What I like the most is the beautiful features that are gonna be quite unique for our data. You're always happy to have people like you. Very, very beautiful features. Oh, don't be shy. You are! And I've seen a lot of people here and taken a lot of tests. Okay, let's try to keep our eyes open and big. Good. Now, your nose, uh, try to move your head the side and see your mouth mm. can you open it slightly like that is great Very good. Let me just send it out to my colleagues. You are already in, okay? I just need to pass on this information to them and a few other numbers so they are ready for you. Even though they have this information, they are going to be asking you another questions concerning what they are going to be measuring too, okay? I'm just giving them the... Hmm, general information about you, the surface, as I would say, but your measurements are going to be more detailed. Okay. Information is Now, you're going to have a break after this of a couple of minutes in case you need to make a call and make some arrangements that you're going to be in for three hours, please do so because during this test you are not going to have any breaks, only in between, okay? The next test, it will be around 50 minutes time, 40 to 50 minutes, okay? And the next ones are, might be shorter or other ones longer. So make your preparations 
dad. We're gonna stay here for a while. I'm gonna have a very good meal afterwards. Excellent. So, I must say congratulations. You are part of our program. Very happy to have you on board. So now I'm gonna escort you to the next room. In between, you're gonna have a, let's say, 10 minutes for you to figure out the things that you need to do. Okay? Do you have any questions? Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for taking part of this program. And well, you can just go ahead in this room, then I'm gonna meet you there to score you to the other room. Okay, very good. See you in a moment. Yes, so, so we have the subject and it's ready in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna be escorting them. Okay, very good, thank you so much. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Dr. Whispers. How are you today? Hmm. Nice to hear that. You are our patient today for the biometric face analysis and mapping, correct? Okay. Can I have your full name, please? Okay. Hmm. You are one of our regulars, isn't it? Yeah, I, I do remember you. We have very good sessions with you in the past. Now, let's see. For today's session, in specific, we are going to be creating a full complete biometric AI online uh, with your features, right? This is going to be for a personal matter. Just for you. Excellent. Okay. Let me just make sure here that it's going to be for personal use. So you're required to have a full biometric in a mechanical way. You have you had your computer scanned? Mm. They did the whole thing. Okay, so we just need the mechanical manual measurements, right? Now, since I'm very familiar with you, I already know most of your features, so it's going to be a little bit easier for our work. Now, I did see in the information that you're also looking to have some improvements with your looks for your AI. Okay, talk to me about those. Um, improvements that you're looking for. Okay. Yeah, actually that is very common. A lot of our clients like to have uh, their face analyzed and mapped in a computer in all full detail and that way we can recreate maybe like a simulation of plastic surgery. Maybe they want to change their nose, they want to change the shape of their eyes, their mouth, but they are afraid to go blind into surgery. So this is a very good tool that they can use to play along with their AI fissures and see how it works and how it's going to look in real life. So that's more or less what you're looking for here. Very good. So since you want the full detail, we're going to be taking a lot of measurements, especially on key elements, which is nose, eyes, mouth, and other center points in the face, okay? Okay. 
Now let's start with our basics. Okay. So I'm gonna be using this measuring tape to start looking at your head measurements here. We're just gonna look like this. Now I'm just gonna ask you to move your head like this. Yeah, in that direction, thank you. Now we're going to be doing this on real time since we already have uh, this scan with the computer. So the moment that we are inputting these measurements into the computer, we're going to start seeing the little AI here, as you can see. Start taking shape of your face right now. It kind of looks like you. But once we input these complete measurements, you're going to see it morphing more into you like a mirror image. Or like a photograph but actually photograph as you may know especially with smartphones are not very accurate because it kind of distort at some points the best more realistic pictures that we can take of ourselves is with film that has no filters or anything like that so it's always the best for that Tickle a little bit here. Good. Let me just start inputting this. Yeah, of course, you can take a look here. Uh, the changes are going to be very, very slow because I'm inputting it one by one by middle session is when you start noticing that no oh, that's me that's me Good. Now, I'm gonna ask you to lean forward like this thank you Now I'm going to do your neck, it might tickle a little bit, okay? Very good. Well, the results are immediately, uh, once I input the last number, you're going to see it there. But the full merger it will be done by tomorrow. We're gonna send you a link where you can download it or look it directly in our website. And if you download it, you can pass it into a USB or an SD card. And you can take it to any plastic surgeon that you want and they know what to do with it. A lot of my clients actually do it um, at home themselves. They uh, download this program. Uh, don't remember exactly the name, but it's a program like a plastic surgeon online that you upload your AI face there. And you can start playing with your nose, your eyes, kind of like a phone filter, you know, like what you use on Instagram and stuff like that. But there you can play, move your face around, your body, look from up, from down, completely 360 view. And of course, that's why we're taking so many measurements. And you can start pulling your nose up, making it a little smaller, bigger smile, and stuff like that. Pretty fun to play with, to be honest. Sadly, some people have taken it a little bit further and have developed um, 
those issues that kind of require more help. Yeah, body dysmorphia. But if it's just to play with or have more or less um, to know how you're gonna look with any changes to your face, that's a good option. Do you have any thoughts on doing some changes to your jawline? Maybe not now, but in the future. I'm asking this because we can take full measurements of this area here, which is very important for this kind of situation. So I would like to ask you if you want me to add it to. Normally it's not in the mapping. Yeah, no, no extra custom work. So let's do the jaw part. I'm going to ask you to look all the way up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, good. Now keep it like that, please. Thank you. Now in that position. same position but look into the side please very good now to the other side thank you I have played with it actually yeah it's really fun to see what you can do to you or, or just play along. You know, sometimes the itch for change in our face is just something that is just in the moment. And when you start playing with this tool, it just kind of like, hmm, I was just wanted to know how I would look, but I don't really want to do it on my face. So uh, I have played with the idea, but no. I'm not that adventurous. <laughs> okay. Now you're gonna go lower all the way down your shin to your chest. Okay, like that. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, of course, tell me. Uh, we do have the full body system. <sighs> to be honest, it's not perfect yet because uh, we are not really in collaboration with any other places for body changing. But we can take the measurements just to have them in store. And I say this because bodies tend to change more than faces in certain ages. Fluctuation of weight, fluctuation of body mass, and all of that. So we haven't found a good algorithm that can work with those changes with time, age, um, circumstances and anything like that so we're still not doing giving that to our customers to be honest but we can have the measurements inside and we can give you a full body AI model of yourself but it's not going to be perfect to mold it in the sites yeah because of the fluctuation that the AI doesn't 
really work with that right now with the algorithm but still we can do it for you you would like to take part of it okay okay we can do that once we finish with your facial features okay good so let's start with the more delicate ones which is your eyes okay try to keep your eyes as you normally open don't open them too much or close it too much okay Why am I gonna poke you? There we go. Good. There we go. Good. Well, you have a very symmetrical face to be honest, so that's gonna help a lot. You know, symmetry is quite rare on the body in some cases. We might look the same from this side to the other, but there are some little differences that are not um, available to see in the naked eye, but with measurement tools, we see them. So it's pretty rare to actually find someone that is completely symmetrical from one side to the other. Yeah, very, very rare. And I'm not saying that it's best or worse to have a symmetrical face. No, not at all. All faces are different. You see some actors, famous actors, singers that don't have a very symmetrical face, but everybody loves them how they look. Yeah, beauty is completely subjective, so we cannot. What well, there was this era where they used to take these measurements and say, these are the pe perfect measurements for a face or a body or whatever. This is perfect, this is considered beauty. But now we have debunked that. Beauty is completely subjective to the person that sees it. What we consider beauty sometimes it's just something that it was shot to us in TV and movies and stuff like that. Yeah, there's beauty everywhere. Every single face, every single body, there's beauty. Okay, good. You see here how we change it uh, after I put the measurements of your eyes. Yeah, it started to look more and more like you. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. Now this is the most delicate part. Here is where we want our numbers to be. Very, very detailed. Okay. Let's do the same here. Good. Very good. Now I do remember that in our past sessions we take we took uh, body measurements from you mm -hmm. and I do see it here but as I was saying body uh, measurements fluctuate way too much to have just one set of numbers 
and the algorithm is still not perfect to determine how the body is going to change or how it's going to be mold because maybe some month you're being more active than the other so your muscles are gonna contract a little bit more and maybe other days you're not feeling the best and you're bloated a little bit more so that all change our body structure and the algorithm still is not perfect to understand all the situations that the body goes by so we're going to have to take a full measurements of your body too yeah normally some key areas which is torso back especially in the back area and that's when we can determine the best value to to make this um AI for you. Okay, let's start with this. I'm gonna pinch you a little bit with it, but it shouldn't hurt. Okay. Good. Very good. Let's try it on this area. Now I want to go up like this. I'm gonna pinch your chin a bit, okay? There we go. You're doing great. Very good, good, good. I'm gonna give you a little break to relax. Before we continue, let me just start filling up this information here you can take off your phone if you want relax your face because i know that you might feel a little bit stiff it's gonna feel good after this we are done with the facial measurements i'm gonna have you to be standing up for a little bit so i want you to relax for a bit before that So now I'm gonna paste the measurements into my facial chart here. So I'm just gonna ask you, stay like that, you can do whatever you want, but for that time, look at me, okay? Okay, you can relax again. I'm gonna be taking a few notes before we move on with the rest of your ma facial mapping and analysis, okay? Very good. We're just gonna be no more than five minutes for you to take a break we have a snack bar right here if you would like some juice water coffee tea some biscuits cookies a very delicious handmade bar cook so i'm telling you they are good very good 
Yeah, of course, go ahead. Okay, so are you ready to continue? Have some nice refreshments. Aren't they delicious? Oh, I love them. I have to restrain myself not to be taking too many because they are so, so good. Okay, now I'm just gonna need your face. Look into this side, please.
very good. Let me just stay like that, okay? Good. I'm gonna be pinching your nose. to the side please like that is okay very good So normally the only things that grow in our face all the time it's our nose and our ears but we have a very good algorithm that takes care of that and since we already have your information in store from our past sessions the algorithm knows how much your nose has grown since the last time so it's easy to determine how it's gonna be for maybe the next session Yeah, pretty wild our own noses keep growing. Also our feet and the ears. I believe it's more noticeable in males. In my case I know that my nose has grown. <laughs> but I don't mind. Don't notice. Okay. Now this one might be a little bit more difficult because I need you to be in a position that is not the most comfortable. So you're going to be putting your face like this for quite a bit. I'm going to be moving your head from side to side to take some measurements. Okay. So we're just going to move it like that. We're going to stay put, okay, because I'm going to take uh, several measurements that are are very delicate and needs to be completely exact, okay? Very good. So you just stay like that. Don't worry, I'm gonna be moving you around in case I need it, okay? Very good. Now just like that. All you need to do is stay in that position, okay? Very good. Gonna move you a little bit, okay? Good. Stay like that. relax a bit. Let me just fill this up and you can actually notice here how it looks more like you. The only thing that changes right now is the hair. Very good. Now let's go and do your lips. No, just stay like that, but your mouth closed. No need to do anything. Okay. 
Very good. Just in that position. Thank you. Good. Okay, um, gonna pinch your lower lip. Lips are very important for this model. Okay, I'm gonna pinch your upper lip now. Good. Very good. Mm, did they did your computer scan with the hair down? Oh, they put a cap on you. Okay, that's why it looks like this. Mm. Normally, I prefer for them to have your hair down at least one of the scans because hair is also one important factor on how we look at ourselves. So, even though your face is, is there, but without the hair, uh, how you recognize yourself. So. Mm. Yeah, because the, the hair looks a little bit odd, to be honest. I guess that's the computer AI trying to work out your face structure algorithm with the mapping that we are doing. And face measurements, it's a complete science on its own. So it's kind of an art too, you know. So let's try now your body measurements. I'm going to ask you to stand up and just stay like that. I'm going to be moving your body around. Will you like another little break to go to the refreshment bar? Okay, so I'm mostly going to be in the back working on the measurements and then I'm going to be uh, putting them on the computer. Okay, sadly those body measurements are not going to be live feed computer because it needs to be rendered so that is gonna be ready for by tomorrow yeah okay so just stay like that and I'm gonna be working side to side okay very good so normally around 10 minutes or less to they do this full measurements if you get tired, let me know, okay? It's completely fine, we can take breaks. Oh, as I was saying, the algorithm is not perfect yet, but we can work around it. Very good.
that's it. You can take a seat now and relax or you can go to the refreshment bar if you want. Mm -hmm. Still need to do the input of the information. Yeah, take your time, take your time. Yeah, as I was saying, it, it does take a little bit longer for the body rendering. And by tomorrow, we're going to send you the link for it. And probably you can download it too. I'm not sure how our technicians are with that right now. positive that I have all the measurements needed for your render the mapping as you can see here of your face looks very good I will say identical yeah you can also play with the facial expressions too they did it for you in the scanning they made you laugh be sad angry yeah I love that <laughs> It's way more personalized than having just one facial expression. And with that, uh, when you're showing it to your doctor, to your plastic surgeon, they can work around, maybe if you're smiling and you have a little wrinkle here, you wanna change it, it's all gonna show there. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to do the facial, uh, facial expressions that it wasn't done before. So it's very revolutionary now. Quite happy that we have it here available for our clients. Very well. So I'm very happy to say that we have all of our measurements ready. Now we like your signature here where I put all the measurements and that you agree that we took the measurements from your face and your body and this is only for personal use for you they are not going to be sold to anyone because there are other um, persons that like to sell their body features to AI companies where they create these video game uh, characters with their faces so they are selling the rights for from their faces so for this measurements it's completely sealed it's just for you it's never going to touch any of these servers, okay? So we just need your signature here, please. Thank you, and I'm gonna sign to you. And yeah, it's completely sealed. These are your numbers. This is your face and your face only. There you go. So now let me just give you an example here. I don't have the full program uh, because it's something that we don't work with but I can render it a little bit with your facial expressions there we go we can go a full 360 happy face sad sometimes emotions are a little bit difficult difficult here because the emotions that you were doing while the scanning are not real are something that you were mimicking, right? So it's not going to show our true anger face or a true sadness face. Unless you're a great actress or actor, isn't it? There we go. You can move the arrows here. <laughs> isn't it fun? I just love this so, so much. Well, that's it. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming back to us. And hopefully we can meet again. Of course, please take care. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Joni. I will be taking care of you today. How are you? 
I'm glad to hear that. Well, uh, you're here for your face analysis and measurements, correct? Okay, so uh, the reason of your visit for this is that you want a custom-made uh, face mask, right? Oh, a LED mask. Mm, that's great. Okay, so let me just see here. Uh, do I have your name correctly? Can you repeat it to me, please? Okay, good, thank you. So this custom-made LED mask is going to be commissioned by us. Okay, we're going to need eyes. Mm -mm, lip area. Face structure. Okay, also neck area, right? It's a two-piece mask. We have the one just only for the face and the other one that goes directly onto the neck. Mm -hmm. Very good. Normally these commissions take about two to three weeks to be done depending on how loaded we are with work but I think that you have a rush order, if I'm correct. You do? Okay. Well, it would be done in, in one week time. No more than that. Even maybe less. Okay, let's see. Let me start by cleaning my hands. Is it okay if I touch your face? Okay. Do you feel comfortable for me doing it with bare hands? Or gloves. Either way. Okay. You know, I'm gonna be using gloves. That way I won't be carrying around any germs for you. Especially for the face that is very delicate. Okay. Um start by your facial analysis. Now we want to see that your face conforms with the standard that we have for a face mask, mostly with the width and how wide it is. This already know it by by heart just by feeling the head of my customers yeah because we have a, a base of our face mask and then we work from there to start doing the personalization yeah because all shapes I'm sorry all heads normally have a certain width Female and male. Okay. Very well. Now, um, well, we pointed out certain places like these areas right here are very important for our face mask. We're gonna be doing certain marks in your face. Okay. This area is in a specific need to be very thorough with the measurements that we take because if we miss even a slight measurement here, it's not going to be feeling well for you. And since our LED masks are made for comfort because normally some people even fall asleep with them on. So I want them to feel snugged and very comfortable to the face of our clients. Okay. This area is here. And here. Okay. Let's see. So normal. 
head structure for the type of person and width um, works specially on eyes nose area and now I have a question for you. We have two features on our LED mask. One is feel snug, snug to your face, so it feels like a second face on you. The other one is a little bit loose, but um, this one takes different measurements, so we need to do a second set of measurements instead of the um, the personalized ones. Sometimes people want to share their mask with somebody else in the household. So this comes with an extra cost, the second set. And the second one is the one that can be used by maybe a spouse, a, a kid, well not a kid, but a friend or anything like that that want to be shared. And the other one is the one that is gonna be just for your face structure. For them, it's not going to feel snug or very fit as the one that is going to be for you, but still it's going to work for them. Because I, I don't see here in your information anything about it. Just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. by placing this on your eye area. Now I'm gonna ask you not to move while I'm doing this. Okay. So we start in here. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, and six here too. Okay, gonna be placing a little bit more into this area. There we go. Ready? And zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be the same here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Good. Very well. Oh, these LED masks are just great. I'm gonna show you a sample in a bit while we take a little break for you because I know it can be difficult to be just standing there, not moving your head too much. We have a refreshment area. In this section as you can see we have some snacks beverages for you to take take whatever you want okay now, we're gonna look to this way please like that thank you good okay the same to the side please Just looking to the side. Good. That looks great. Point fifty-two. Point fifty-two. Now let me just set this up in the computer. One moment, please. No. Okay. Oh, actually, we have an opening here. Your face mask should be ready in around three days. Yeah. That way, if I'm setting up the information the same time that we are taking the measurements, it's going to be a a little bit faster. Okay, 
Now we're gonna look up, please. Up, up, up. Thank you. Good. Now you're gonna look down like this. Good. Good, good, good. Excellent, thank you. Normally we do a time frame of one week but sometimes we have openings like right now so I'm just setting this up so you are the next one in line okay let's take a small break you can go to the refreshment area here and wait for me while I go take the sample face mask that I was showing you okay be back in a minute All right. was it good? yeah oh, they're so good house chef is just amazing so here's a sample of the face mask as you can see it has an opening for the nose for the mouth and for the eyes and depending on the measurements that we're gonna be taking this is gonna be a small thing for you oh, the width of the face here this should be changing too depending on the measurements so it feels nice and normal to your face like it's fabric or silk uh, right now this one will fit you but it's not gonna feel as comfortable as it's gonna be a personalized one pretty nice isn't it and then we have the neck piece which is this one. Let me just set this here. Now this part goes into this section right here. Right now it doesn't fit to me because this is for a past client. It goes like this. This one should be fitting into your facial mask. And we even have one that goes to the shoulders. This is for person that have issues with an injury in their shoulders. The LED light helps them quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes like uh, this. Mm -hmm. But it depends on the personal measurements, of course. Let me just set this aside. Okay. Are you ready to continue? Very good. So we have good. Now we're gonna look to the side, please. to move good good thank you point eleven point eleven now look into the side please Very good, good. One, two, four. 
going too far. Yeah, our house chef has this amazing technique. We do snacks, so oh gosh, I wish I could cook like that. They're so delicious, isn't it? I love them. Yeah, we have uh, their food in the cafeteria with employees, and I don't even have to go outside to eat. It's just so good. Everybody is a Mexican Italian person, so you know this. They have this two cultures rich of these traditional foods. So the fusions that this person makes is just amazing. <laughs> it is. Okay, we're gonna do your lips area. There we go. Good. Okay. Stuff. And area two. I'm gonna be taking measurements very detailed of your eyes. This tool is very scary for my clients, but don't it's okay because it's quite pointy and it gets very close to their face but don't worry I'm not gonna poke you or anything this is just for precise measurements of certain areas okay you might touch you but you will not poke you okay not to move please good good okay good that's great let's do the other area the same try not to move please We're doing great. Point two six, point two six. I do have the same face mask actually. Oh, it feels great, especially at night when you're coming home and you're tired. Sometimes your face feels very, very stressed and like stiff. You put on the mask. After a bath, warm bath, oh, it's glorious. I do not recommend to put it on while you're in the bathtub, okay? It's quite dangerous because it's, you know, electricity. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you know, we don't want you to fall asleep and then, you know, no, it's quite dangerous. No, I'll do it after a long day, maybe a stressful day. And my face feels stiff in the muscles of the face you lay down very comfortable put on your mask that is well fitted and you sleep through the night oh yeah it has a timer so don't worry if you fall asleep and you still have your mask on no it will turn off in itself after a certain time even if you don't program it. Yeah, it has that safety measure. Yeah, because too much of it can even burn you, so you have to be careful. Okay, 
I'm missing one measurement here in this area. Let's do it again. Like that, okay. Uh, let's try not to move. There we go. Okay. Three, two, two, okay. Two, three. It depends to the person. Um, he has helped some people with sun damage, with sunspots. Mm -hmm. Most people use it for relaxation, others for these skin issues. He does take time, but it works. So, definitely, definitely something that we should have in our beauty kit. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, let's try here on the eyebrow area. Let me just check here in our system. Oh, okay. I had a pop up here. Uh, okay, corporate is offering the current client a set of head and back LED massagers, LED light massagers. Okay. Okay, corporate is offering you a set of head massagers that go in the back. It also comes with LED light and a massager, slight massager. Especially works for um, headaches or just for relaxation. It goes right here in the back. Sorry, I don't have anything to show you right now. They have it in the other room and I'm sure that they are using it. And it goes to the back of the shoulders. And they are offering an 60% oh, off if you take the offer right now. We just need to take measurements for that and it will be included in your package. Oh, let me see. So 60 or oh, 65% off. Yeah, you can actually see here on the screen that it has information and this will be your pricing, your total price that you could you should pray if you accept it yeah it isn't it that much but it, it looks great uh, let me show you we have uh, here in my phone I can actually send you a video so you can see it right there it looks nice isn't it I personally don't have it because it's a new product and it's still uh, haven't showed it to the employees but it's quite great they're just rolling it out it does look relaxing you like to take advantage of the offer okay very well let me just send them the information that you accept yeah, it will be done at the same time frame as your face mask. Now for this, I'm going to need another set of tools that I currently don't have. So after we're done with your face, we're going to go back and start doing your other measurements, okay?
Well, we're almost done here with your various measurements and analysis. I do actually want to try that because I do suffer of back pain, especially on this area here. Yeah, the famous knots right here. Good. Now let's do your nose. Remember, I'm not gonna poke you, okay? Good. measurements of your face structure and the analysis and I'm just sending it to our technical service team here they should be ready to start working on them now what do you think if we take another little break while I go get my other tools and we start your back and head measurements is that okay? Yeah, please go ahead and take more snacks and beverages. That's completely fine. Uh, okay, da, 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 da. looks good. Oh, actually, try these cones. They are heavenly. Uh, oh, they didn't put the cappuccino machine. I'm so sorry about that. But we do have tea, even that goes well with those scones. It's, oh my gosh, you are gonna love it. So sorry we don't have the cappuccino. You, that combination of flavors with this chef is just out of this world. I don't know what they do with it, but it's just so great. Very well, so I have sent all the information and they should start working right away on your face mask. Now we just need to do your back measurements. And let me go gather the tools and we'll be ready to start. Okay, you have all your refreshments here. Please go ahead, sell yourself, okay? Be back in a bit. You try this now. Isn't that good? I know, isn't it? They're just so heavenly. Okay, we're ready to start. Very good. start working in the back okay feel free to enjoy your snack while I'm doing it might take a little bit in the back yeah go ahead and do your snacks
Okay, we are done. Let me just fill up the information here. You enjoyed it? Uh, yeah. I have to work extra hard <laughs> here so I don't go up in my way because the food is so delicious. Yes. It's amazing, isn't it? I love it. I don't mind having to run 20 more minutes per day. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't mind. Okay. Very well. Uh, we have all the information needed here. So, your pro should be ready. Again, as I was saying, in three days. We're going to call you directly, send you a text or email that your products are ready and they will be shipped up to you. You don't need to come again or anything like that. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for accepting our offer and, well, I hope that you enjoy your products once they are up to you. Of course, please take care and hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah, of course, take whatever you want. They're for you. <laughs> sure. Bye-bye. Hi. Please take a seat. Okay. Can I see your card? Thank you. Mm. Hello. Okay. So you are on take five. So a scene ten through twenty-five. Well, you got a big part. Let's see. You have a lot of close ups. Let's see what's the information that we need to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got a big part in this movie, isn't it? Are you excited? Hmm. Okay, you're gonna get a lot of processes for this take. A lot of makeup too, but mostly the processes. So we're gonna need to take full face measures. That includes your ears, neck area, and face. Okay, so recording will be in two weeks, so we got to do a fast job on the processes, so gonna do a lot of measuring with you. Let's see. Exciting, isn't it? Is this your first big part? Mm. So you should be really proud. Okay. Very good. So let me tell you what we're gonna do today. And okay, this is the template that we use for our measurements. For you, what we're gonna do is do the full face measurement, including eyebrows, your eyebrow structure, the bone that we have right here, your cheek structure structure here the size of your ears of course the depth because the prosthesis will be a little bit inserted into your ear canal so you can hold on into it or what I see in the card and let me see yeah full nose too so it's gonna cover all this area in your nose bone right here the only thing that you will show in the movie will be your real lips, which you have really beautiful ones. So, full lips and also your neck area, this jawline structure too, the back of your head of course, and let me see, well it's gonna be a big head prosthesis right there you're gonna 
were worn so it's gonna be pretty big a little bit heavy so you ready for that so I think for what I see in your car they're gonna be applied right here so we have to measure this area very well so it doesn't fall off on you okay I'm gonna use a lot of tools on you today to do the measurements and I'm gonna be taking notes during the whole thing let me see we also need your skin type you didn't went to the makeup artist yet no okay I can do that too so there's no problem let me just log it in here so, okay let's start with the template of your face straightforward to me like so just gonna do a quick draw of your face actually let me pull your hair a little bit to the back like so you need all this area uncover also in your ears Good. Okay, now looking straight forward to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a serious face. No smiling like that. Good. This is so I can put the measurements in your face drawing other artists use photographs but I like my drawings feels more natural to me because photographs have a lot of shadows sometimes or even the light can change the structure of the face okay let me see your ears good hmm. so first time doing a leading roll well you're gonna have a lot of close-up shots in here so it's gonna be pretty detailed the processes that they are gonna put on you. Mm -hmm. Well, for experience with my other talents, they say that it's really heavy and hot. I imagine all the makeup, all the latex that they are gonna put on you can be a little bit uncomfortable at times, but it's a great experience and opportunity and I know that you're gonna do great okay so I'm gonna start with your eyes first okay eyes eyes eyebrow structure okay for this I'm gonna use this little tool right here pretty neat that is gonna give us exact measurements of your eyes Okay, looking straight forward to me. Good. Good, good, good. Try not to make any facial expressions when I do this. Okay.
good. That doesn't add up. Good. Very good. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? Like so. Good. <laughs> Gonna do the math with this. Mm -hmm. Five. Be raised like that. Good. Very good. Let me go get my measuring tape because my intern didn't brought it for me. Gonna be back real quick, okay? Let's take your head measurements. Stay like that. Good. Okay. Twenty-five. It's all messed up. They've been using it wrong. Here. I bet you're used to stand still. <laughs> yeah. They're in makeup and prosthetics. It takes a lot of time. I know. I used to be in the special effects department, but the working hours were crazy. Okay, looking a little bit to the side. Okay, good. Like that. Mm -hmm. The same on the other side. Looking a little bit like that. This is not in the measuring lock, but I'm gonna take it anyway because sometimes they do need it from your forehead to your neck. Good, 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 good. 
Okay. Same the other side. Half an inch. Good. Raise off a little bit. One inch. Not too much. Okay, looking straight forward to me. Like so. Sorry if I'm rambling right now, I'm just rambling numbers, but I need to get exact measurements here so the prosthetics will fit perfectly to you. We used to do this on the same room where the prosthetic artists were, but now it's a completely different department and I know they will call to ask for more measurements. So. I'm trying to make as many as I can as I, as I remember from my time on the FX department. Because I know they will call me. <laughs> they always do. This nifty tool right here to take your face bone structure, okay, which will be first in your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Rise your eyebrows a little bit for me. Okay, got that right. It adapts with the other measuring. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Mm. Actually, with this little tool we get the golden radio of a face. Sometimes we get really beautiful measurements with numbers. They say that the golden ratio is the perfect number, the perfect um let's say structure there is and sometimes we can find it in human faces too and I'm not saying that just because someone is beautiful outside even that it just adds up with the numbers of her face. Okay, there we go. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say that some famous, really famous actors and actresses that I have taken measures of, they don't have it. They don't have the golden radio. Okay, and I mean they have beautiful faces, but in the mat, it doesn't add up. Really curious, isn't it? Yeah, it all depends on the numbers. And I mean, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a number. I believe that beauty comes from how we wear it. How we wear ourselves, how we present ourselves to the world. I believe that's the true beauty. I mean, you can be the most beautiful person in the world, but if inside you're a 
mean, mean person. It just makes you ugly. If you're not kind, what is worth your beauty on the outside if you are rotten on the inside? Well, it's, that's what I think. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm rambling too much. I mean, you can fall asleep if you want. Because I'm gonna do a lot of retake of my measurements just to make sure everything not ups. Okay. Three, four. If I remember. Okay, for this one, I need you to stay really, really still. Okay. Okay. I believe your eye was like this. Yeah, that's the number I have here. Let's see, it needs to go up to this one. Well, yeah, in the FX department, it's really stressful sometimes, and the hours were really crazy, so it was not worth it. I mean, it's good for getting experience if you want to go in that field, but for me, it was too too much. Okay, good. Okay, this part is gonna tingle a lot. <laughs> gonna be measuring your ears. Okay, we're gonna start with this one right here. The tool are a bit old. <laughs> Sorry. It's not adding up. This one. Strange, maybe you have a, an ear bigger than the other one. It's normal. Okay, I need you to open your mouth really wide. Ah, big ah. As big as you can. Okay. Because we need to know how big your mouth open for the prosthetic so it gets elastic can be open it without breaking when you open your mouth okay wide good 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 more good Very good. Now a big smile with mouth closed, like this, as big as you can, as big as you can. You have a beautiful smile. Okay. Good. Now a big frown like this, like you're really, really angry. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Big front again. Mm -hmm. 
it. You see that light ups? Now I'll keep frowning like this. I need to see your wrinkles, your frown wrinkles. Okay. Again, in the other side, keep frowning. Good. Okay, for this part, I'm gonna use this little tool right here. Don't get scared. It's really, really tiny. But we're gonna measure your facial reactions to see how it reacts when you make some facial faces. Okay, now try to be mean, like angry but mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because I see here that you will be on the evil side, so you're gonna do a lot of angry faces. Oh, big mouth, okay. Okay, like that. Stay like that. It's not gonna take too long. This is the tiniest measurements that I take. Good. Ten. Can you raise your eye, your, I mean your ears? Like this? Can you move them? No? Okay. Just gonna take a small measurement inside your ears because the ear prosthetic will be attached to the area right here. Like so. Okay, it's a little bit cold. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. Good. Okay, the same in the other ear. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. I need you to act surprise. You see? Surprise face. With attention on the front. Okay, a surprise face. Like open your eyes wide, raising your eyebrows. Okay, that's a good one. Try to stay like that as much as you can. Okay, we need all these measurements so we know how the prosthetic will react to them, how much latex we need to add up or reduce. So every measurement is important here. 15, 15. Okay, keep it like that. I know it's uncomfortable and weird. I'm sorry. The two adapts perfectly. Just stay like that. One more. Okay, the adapt is 14. 15, 30. So it needs to be added to 30. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's see in your card. Uh, okay, surprise, angry faces. Hmm. A cry face. Do you have you read your script yet? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what kind of crying 
is that you will be doing. Mm -hmm. Frustrated, crying. Okay, try to make that face, a facial expression for me. Okay, it, it's gonna be looking completely different with the prosthetics, but okay, yeah, I see. Try to imagine how the prosthetics is gonna be there, so I know what measurements to take there. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. Yeah, because with the close up there, they're gonna give you all of this is gonna be notice it. And our director doesn't like to use CGI computer graphics. Yeah, I think it looks better with an actor and prosthetics. I mean, it's much better than 20 years ago. That, well, back then we didn't have 4K resolution, so they didn't notice a lot of things in public, but now, with these close-ups, everything needs to be perfect. Okay, keeping that face. Let me see if your ears raise a little bit. Oh, yeah, a tiny bit. Okay, now rest your face. Resting, resting. So you just don't get tired. Okay, again the same face. Thank you. Let's see. Okay. Do you know if you will die in this scene? Because I see here that it has a termination, but I don't see if you will perish during this. Because it's a completely different face. Yeah, you will. Mm. Okay, I'm kind of getting spoiled on the movie now. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna be lying on the floor, and you, they're gonna take a full shot for that. So you're gonna be laying on this side. So your face is gonna be smashed a little. A measurement for that. Good. Okay. What I will need you to do is take your hands like you're sleeping, but doing this, trying to squish your face as much as you can, like this. Mm -hmm. I need to measure this side. That is perfect. Okay. You're gonna be smashed into a soft ground. Okay. Good. Keep it like that. Very good. Five. Okay, stay like that for a moment more need to measure the angles. I'm gonna use this ruler for that. So stay like that. Okay. So 
so that's your last shot try to see if you're gonna have uh, another shot I know before okay not looking straightforward to me okay good like bored face no expression at all like that perfect that's why you're a great actor mm -hmm. like so number this two goes to number three number one stay like that please almost there good 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 okay now I will be measuring the back and the side of your head is where most of the way will be mm -hmm. oh yeah you will definitely be heavy but you're strong you can do it Have your appointment for the prosthetics, do you know? Well, the time card says two weeks, so I'm gonna send this today to the department. But they also need your face type. Okay, we'll get to uh, do that in a minute. Okay. Now, okay, this is gonna be weird. I need you to do a um, dying face, like a suffering face that you have a lot of pain. Mm hmm. Yeah, it says it's gonna be exaggerated. So, we need that for you. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, you just keep doing it. I don't need it to be aesthetic, just keep doing it. I'm gonna take my own measurements here. Hold on, that doesn't look nice. <laughs> I like to see you suffering. Keep doing it. Good, you're a great actor. Okay. Again, mm -hmm. just need the numbers to match up. Good, good. Once again, this side. Then perfect. Yes, yeah, nice when the numbers are up. The first try. Okay, so we are done with your face measurements. I just need to do the last one from your jawline and your neck. So just gonna tingle a little bit because I'll be touching the area. Okay, like that. Good. And the last one for your neck. Good. Can you raise your finger, finger head like this? 
as much as you can. Like so, good. Thank you. your neck, your head. Mm -hmm. That's your card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just need to do the final step, which will be your face type. What we mean with face type is sometimes we have a round face, sometimes we have a um, uh, triangular face, square face, like this little picture right here can be called a circular face, a round face too. So we're gonna find what kind of face that you have. Sometimes we have a combination. It's not perfectly symmetric. Okay, I need you to look straight forward to me. Like that. Okay, just gonna compare it with my measurements here. Good, keep looking straight forward, please. Can I be touching your jawline? Can I to feel it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a combination of round and square face, but it's mostly inclining to the round, which will be mostly like this one, like the one we have here. It will look just like this, and your jawline, you can see it's a little bit flat in this area, not completely round, like mine. <laughs> goes like this in a line here and then goes all around in the sheen area so you have a really beautiful face structure face type mm -hmm. oh no you can even say that okay so just you know now that we know you have a Mix face. Mm -hmm. Just need to know that the numbers are okay. Very well. So we are done now. Here you go. Here's your card. Don't lose it. It's very important to always keep your card with you. Good. Okay, I'm gonna sign this. You're gonna take this to the next department. They're gonna do your color testing. They're gonna find all the colors that match up with your lips and your eyes because you are not gonna be wearing contact lenses during this uh, recording, which is pretty weird, but I believe it's because you have beautiful eyes and you are a, a kind of humanoid demon. Or so it says like this. It says here you are that. So you're gonna take this to the next department. Mm, here you go. And they're gonna do your color chart. Good luck and have fun. Bye bye. I am the photography director of Faces. Can I have your name? Okay, I have you here in the list. 
I will need a little bit of information about you before we proceed with the measurements. Is that okay? Okay, we have your full name, your age, good, your ethnicity, very good, thank you. That will be all. Uh, I believe that you're aware that today we're doing a casting for models for our next issue of Making Faces magazine, which is this one. This magazine is featured with a lot of beautiful models uh, that will be Fisher in the magazine in different types of makeup. This is the reason that we require all types of models of all different ethnicities. Also, we need people that have freckles, maybe a few beauty marks here and there. We want to have a whole diversity in our book. But uh, one important issue that we are looking for in our models is to have the golden radio measurements on them. Which means that I will be performing a session of measurements of your face only, looking for the golden radio. Which means it's the beauty, beauty uh, formula in the nature, which is 5 1.618 and that's the number that we are going to be looking on you. Sometimes we find the perfect measurements in our models and other times we have models that are pretty close to it and the reason that we are looking for this number in specific is because on our book we make really close up pictures to their faces. We're looking for symmetrical uh, features, beauty, and all type of beauties, of course. As you can see here, the pictures are very, very detailed and up close. Right now, I'm in charge of looking for females, males, and everything to get models for our book. Okay. Very well, so we're going to be starting taking full measurements of your whole face. Let me just clean my hands before we start. I see that you're wearing a little bit of makeup, but don't worry. I'm going to take it out in a little bit. Just a second. Very good. This cotton pads are already infused with makeup removal. We are just gonna take a little bit out. We need a bare face to do the measurements because sometimes makeup can get in the way of the precise measurements that we do today. Wow, you have such beautiful eyes. It's the kind of eyes that we want for the magazine, so I could say that you're definitely in. Very unique. Those are the type of features that we are always looking for in our models. Oh, the golden radio. That is a number, mathematical number of measurement that is found all over nature could be in rocks, in animals, in the sky, clouds, and everything it's just the theory that that simple number can be the perfect beauty in all the things in the world or even outside of this world too very good Excellent. We're gonna start by doing the measurements 
of your eyebrows a nice first that is the one that takes the longest gonna do a quick sketch of your face just look straight forward to me please this way I can do my markings on the sketch I don't trust photography <laughs> even though I work as a photography director I prefer what I see with my eyes and what I can draw yeah the reason that behind that number and photography is because sometimes there are such beautiful people in the world well I believe that everyone as some type of beauty but sometimes when you take a picture of a person it doesn't reflect in the picture in the photography which is very curious you can even get someone that you will say is not that beautiful and you put it in front of a camera and it looks completely different Maybe it has happened to you that you see yourself in the mirror and you look all pretty and dolled up and when you take a selfie, it looks completely the opposite. <laughs> That's it. Sometimes the camera can't capture that beauty. It's very different for all of us. That's why I like handmade portraits. Don't worry, it doesn't take that long for me to do it. Oh, your eyes are so gorgeous. It's my favorite part. Okay. Just like that. Thank you. Good. Little but the nose and your lips. Okay, can you look to the side, please? Okay, actually, I need to pull your hair a little bit to the back because it's getting in the way in your forehead and your ears let me get a comb just quickly okay Good. I'm just going to put it all the way to the back. Like so. Very good. Let's continue with our sketch. Okay, now looking this way. See like that. cute feature right here between your eyes and your nose it looks very very cute very adorable that would look perfect in the book I'm gonna make sure to have it right here yeah actually we are looking for people with maybe some scar in their face can be acne scarring or any type of scar that is not that gruesome especially natural scars like acne can be very cute, can be very beautiful 
taken in a, into a perspective of light. Um, it creates some shades that can be very beautiful. And uh, as I was saying, we're trying to make our book very diverse with all type of faces, not just full model, beautiful perfection faces. Okay, now look into this side, please. Okay. A beautiful profile. You can relax your face now. Excellent. We're gonna start first with this tool right here that allows me to see and find the pi number, okay? We're not gonna take uh, the numerical measurements right now. I'm just gonna see the proportions of face structure good and you do open your eyes normally try not to blink good perfect okay now I need you to have your eyes like you're really happy open wide Excellent. Very good. Looks perfect. Even if we don't find a perfect golden radio, you're in. You have very beautiful features. Those beautiful eyes are something that I just want in the magazine. Well, the book. <laughs> good. Okay, can you do this? Very cute. Okay, good, 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 good. Very nice. Now, uh, a very sweet smile, very soft. Good, excellent. Very nice. Yeah, the number 1.168 is located in all the things in the world that have the golden radio. It's repeated all, all, all along. You can see it sometimes when the measures between eyes, the nose, between the one part of the eye, the smile, everything. Okay. Now a big smile with teeth. Beautiful smile. Good. Very good. Okay, now looking this way, I'm gonna measure your profile, your nose. Perfect. Very good. Now stay like that, please. And let's see your ears and eyes. Good. Now the same to the side, please. Okay. Very good. Thank you. See your nose and your ear. Very good. Yeah, right here with our photographers, we have a formula. That's why we take uh, full measurements of the face. And if a face falls between those numbers, even if it's not right inside the golden radio, 
we know that the picture will look perfect. I don't know, I'm not quite sure about the theory behind it, but they say that having that number, that specific in between numbers, will make a perfect picture. Good. Thank you so much. You can relax for a little bit. I know it can be a little bit tiring and smiling all the time, especially if it's not a, a genuine smile. Okay. I'm going to take a couple of notes now. While I do this, um, you can answer yourself some tea right here in the table. It's very delicious. It's jasmine tea. Very, very good. Got you a cup right here. It's prepared. It's very, very nice and aromatic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can take a peek into the book. Where I'm just trying to remember what I saw. Very good. How is the tea? Delicious, isn't it? Continue with the next measurement. This is a full face measurement mass that allows us to see the numbers in your eyebrows, your nose, your cheekbones, and your nose. I mean, your mouth. <laughs> okay. Very good. Now sitting very straight. Looking forward to me, please. Gonna place the mask near your face. Very straight, please. Five, four. Five, four. Good. Okay. Your nose. Two, two. One, one. Through your lip. One, two. Blow. One, two. Oh, good. Now, can you give me a big smile? Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. You can relax your face now. Let's continue. I need you to raise your eyebrows, please. Like so. One, two, three. 
three, four, just like that. One, two, three, four. Good. Your nose. Three, two, three, two. Good. And your lips. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, let's take uh, more detailed measurements of your eyebrow area because it's one of the most special areas that we want to feature on this book. You know, the eyebrows are everything right now. So, we need perfect measurements here. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect symmetry. Oh, looks very nice. Let's see to the side. Looks good too. And this side too. Very good. I will need to sketch your eyebrows for this. Okay. Just relaxed. Just like that. Try not to move, please. This is a very detailed sketch that I need to do of your eyebrows. The arc is very important here. You will be getting a lot of makeup designs in your eyebrow. But we are going to maintain the natural beauty of it. Okay, can you look to the side, please? Mm, good. Excellent. Now look into the side, please. Very good. How do you normally do your eyebrows? Do you block them out or? Okay, trees. Okay, good. You don't use waxing. It's not microbladed, right? That's very important. We need virgin eyebrows. Nothing with tattoo or microblading in the eyebrow area. Because that will show completely in the photography. And since the book is all about makeup, we're trying to design new and beautiful eyebrows under the one that you have, okay? That's why that is one of the few rules that we have for this. No microbladed or tattoo eyebrows or makeup. <laughs> Needs to be completely bare face. I believe that we are actually going to make a, a special in our magazine about permanent makeup cover it when you are not happy with what you got uh, done permanently and that will help people that are under that circumstances okay very good so we now have 
the full measurements on your eyebrows. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna use some set of gloves for this. I don't want to touch you with my dirty hands. We're going to be working with hairstyles too, so I want to see how that will look on your face. Just going to be touching you a little bit, pulling a little bit your eyes up and down, and here's my good. Oh no, don't worry about that. Wrinkles are part of our beauty. That's why I was asking your age. So we can place you on a specific age group. We're looking all type of faces, as I was saying. And wrinkles are part of our beauty too. It's the reminder of that. We have lived, we have smiled, we have cried, we have been getting angry, we're surprised. Those are lifelines. Okay, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna be checking for freckles and beauty marks that I have to map in my sketch. Very good. How you haven't, haven't got any beauty procedure, maybe surgery. Okay, I just need to know if there has been anything done. Okay, good. I love your nails. So cute. You know, there has been a lot of people telling me about my nails, my bulbous nails. <laughs> oh, should uh, do something to it. You know, it's part of our face. Why change something that it's yours? Well, you can do whatever you want with your beauty. But for me, I'm happy with it. I won't change it for anything. It's been in my family forever. <laughs> Why change something that I love? Okay, this part is very beautiful. Your cheekbones are just so beautiful when you smile. Okay. I love that feature on you. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the measurements now. Okay, so we're done with your eyebrows. Let's move down to your eyes. Very good. Needs to be precise. Right there. Okay, looking straight forward to me, directly to my eyes. Good. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna place it a little bit closer to you, okay? It might even touch you. One, two, three. Four, five, good. One, two, three, four, five, good. Which 
give us 10% radiant right here. Okay, now open wide your eyes. Like so. One, two, three, four. that down before I forget. Five, six. Okay, let's see the measurements between your eye and ears. smile for me just like that perfect smile okay keep it like that keep it like that please That looks very good, thank you. Excellent. Let me take a couple of notes before I forget, okay? Remember you have your tea here and a couple of cookies around, if you would like. I don't want to forget what I have been measuring. Sometimes I do forget. I see a lot of numbers. Okay. Well, we will actually call out the models that will be accepted to the booth and magazine uh, in around a week. So by next week you should receive a, a call. So you, you take a note to that. I will make sure that you will be there. I want you there. I'm the photography director after all, so you will be there. We're still missing a, a few models of this diversity, as I was saying. Especially freckles. We need freckles. We need a lot of freckles, actually. Oh, I find freckles very adorable. I know that a lot of people don't like them because they were growing up, they will, they were um, teased about them. You know, kids can be cruel sometimes, and they tease people because of their differences. But as an adult and even in kids, I see them and they are truly work of art. Very beautiful for me. I have you been seen that trend on YouTube that people were putting fake freckles on them with henna and other things, even tattooing them into themselves. That's how much we love freckles. Sadly, some kids can tease other kids and that will make them feel um, self-conscious about their freckles while growing up, but I want freckles in my book. <laughs> if you know some models with freckles, I'll let them know that we are looking for. Okay, now let's move to your nose and lips. Okay, I'm gonna place this directly 
to your nose. It's gonna feel a little bit weird. Okay. There we go. It has to be in your ears, like so, and this right in your nose tip. Okay, there we go. Oopsie, there we go. One, two, three, good. One, two, three. Now try to open your nostrils as much as you can. Good. Placing it in your ears first. Okay. One, two. One, two. Good. Now look into this side, please. Good. Very good. Excellent. Now the same to this side, please. Good. Very good. Okay, here is one, two. Perfect. Now give me your mouth a uh, big smile, showing teeth, like so. Very good. Three. Okay, keep it like that. I know it can be a little bit uncomfortable for two. Too long. One, two, three. Excellent. I'm touching your face a lot with the tools, but don't worry. I'm gonna give you a clean up so you don't break out sometimes. People have very delicate skins and we're touching them with the tools can break out, so I'm gonna help you with that, okay? Don't worry. Good. Now close your mouth. Relax. A serious pose. Very serious. Good. Excellent. Just like that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Again, good, 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 excellent. <sighs> I'm trying to determine in what ca category we're gonna put you in. Um, I believe we're gonna put you into the eye makeup section because just mesmerize with your eyes and it will look so beautiful on photography and with our makeup artists you're gonna be breathtaking okay one two three good very good so that concludes our measurements but we are not done yet Take a pic here in my book. Well, I did find the fine number in your face in some areas, not in all the areas, but don't worry, you're into the category that we need for the perfect numbers. So you will have picture perfect photography. Let me show you specifically what we are going to be doing on you for this modeling job. Okay, Let's start here with our front face model. Simply, it's completely bare face, very beautiful, clean, and fresh. This is what we 
gonna do with you. You're gonna be the front face of beautiful eyes, clean and fresh. And we're gonna put you in the makeup category for the eyes. Let me show you an example. Okay, like this one. This is what we're gonna be doing with you. Close up to your beautiful eyes and makeup from our makeup artist. Detailed pictures on how to do it. Right here, all the steps on how to do the makeup that is going to be created on you. Let me find another example here. Here you can see full face, full beautiful face that we're going to be looking for. And in this picture, we're taking a quick, deep look into the eyes. Very, very deep. And I believe that we're going to have a look like this. Very dark eyes, makeup, very beautiful. And shimmery. Shimmery is actually back into fashion. Here's another great example of dark, deep eye makeup that we're gonna be performing on you. In our past session, we were doing this with drawings. These are actually my drawings here. And this time, we're gonna do uh, picture by picture on the samples how to do it for our clients. That way, it will be more easy for them to follow the instructions. Because in drawing, mm, it can be a little bit difficult. Here. There's this example as I was saying. But you know this magazine was before the makeup boom. Now we have such beautiful designs of makeup, especially high makeup. And I'm just happy that I found someone with those beautiful eyes that you have. And it will look completely beautiful in the book. Okay, so that will be all for me. Now I need you to go to the next room with our photographer. He is going to be taking a few sample pictures of your profile, front face, upper face, everything. And they will know what they do, but you know, I love sketches. <laughs> and I will be studying those pictures later on to choose the styles of makeup that we're going to be doing on you. Okay, so... You're already in, that's why I'm sending you with the photographer, because you are already in. You're going to receive the, the call next week to tell you when to come for the full, um, full makeup and photography, okay? Do you have any questions? Uh, well, all you need to do is take care of your skin, your beautiful eyes, uh, be careful with them, uh, not suffer any uh, damage or red eye or anything like that okay now just let me clean your face before you go because i was touching you with the tools right here and i just want to remove all that touching that i was doing so you did great. Thank you so much for coming. It was a complete pleasure working with you. And I'm very happy that we're going to be seeing each other a bit more around here. I'm not going to be directly on the photo shoots. I mean, on the makeup gown. And I will be in the photo shoot only. Because I'm the director of photography. <laughs> okay. You're ready. So now you can go to the next room. Just go outside this uh, door and to the left, and you will find the door that says photography. Just knock and go inside. They will be expecting you. I'm gonna send them a text. Well, it was a complete pleasure. Take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.